Hi, this is Danny from Danny'sDesigns.com, and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to make these cute little notepads that are on a binder ring. The idea I originally saw was from Becky Roberts, and of course I wanted to share my take on it. And for mine, I'm using the free items that I got from Celebration. These feature the best year ever buttons, as well as the three different colors of ribbon. So to start with, let's go ahead and do some stamping. I use the Flower Shop stamp set using this image right here. To do my stamping, I'm going to need a piece of crushed curry cardstock, as well as my crushed curry ink, and my flower image. Okay. And I'm going to punch it out with a coordinating pansy punch. Line it up and punch it out. Okay, for the front cover, we're also going to need a cute little butterfly. This is the Bitsy Butterfly Punch. And I'm going to punch that out of some Calypso Coral paper. And then for the center of my flower, I'm going to use a Calypso Coral button. I'm going to go ahead and attach that with a glue dot. Okay, and for my butterfly down the center, I want to go ahead and attach some rhinestones. Let's take three of the little guys right here and put it right down the center. Okay, and I'll set these aside for now. Now, to do the cover, I have two pieces of Coastal Cabana cardstock. These both measure, sorry, two inches by three inches. And I'm going to be using the angled tag topper punch. Just slide them in as far as they'll go and punch. For the front cover, I'm going to be embossing that using the perfect polka dot embossing folder. I'm going to insert that there. And then I'm going to use my Texture Boutique, slip it inside the plates, and roll it on through. All right, so we have the cover done. The back I'm just going to leave plain. And inside I have about 25 sheets of cardstock that I've already punched with my angled tag topper. Uh, Becky used index cards, 3x5 index cards cut down to 2x3. I, you can use Whisper White cardstock, any paper that you have. And I just, uh, like I said, cut them down to 2x3, punch them out with a punch, and they're good to go. You can put as many in there as you'd like. As you can see, the ring is pretty big, so you've got a lot of room for more paper. So I'm going to put this on the front. And the ring I'm using is about an inch big. You can use smaller if you'd like. It's up, completely up to you. And I'm going to thread this in from the back to the front. And close that. Okay. For my flower, I'm going to attach that using a couple dimensionals. And for my butterfly, go ahead and bend it and make the wings curve up a little bit. I'm going to attach that with a glue dot. And stick that up here. And of course, to finish it off, I have the three different colors of ribbon that come in the best year ever uh, ribbon pack. I'm going to tie those around the top. Just going to do a simple just double knot. That one there. Do the calypso coral up front. And 
then the crushed curry in the back. Now that that's all done, I'm going to take my ribbon scissors, go ahead and trim the edges. Try to get them all uniform in length. And that's it. Very quick, very simple uh, little project to put together. These would make great gifts like in a goodie bags for a birthday party, just favors to give out, anything you'd like. Remember, celebration ends tomorrow, March 31st, so if you want to get these, you need to order them as soon as you can. The ribbon and the buttons come together in one pack for a $50 order. I have the link in the uh, box below my video that will take you to my website where you can place your order and make sure that you get yours before they're gone for good. Thanks so much for stopping by.